Hello and my greetings to everyone. Today, I will be discussing about why we should follow the safety rules everywhere. Now, before I leave my thoughts, I would like to point out that this rather is a disingenuous question because you must always follow the safety rules wherever you are. As it says, life without rule is like pencil without cutter. Okay, so now let's get started. So our first discussion is going to be about home safety. Home safety is always very important, but it becomes a particular concern when a child enters the home. So this type of safety, it includes many different considerations. You want to protect family members from deadly falls, fatal fires, hazardous ingestions, and more. Practicing safety at home is also an important consideration if you have elderly people in your home. It's even important if you have pets. So you have to be diligent to keep all dangerous items that is in your home out of the reach of people or animals because it would harm them so badly. Now, to maximize home accident prevention, we have to make sure first that all child safety locks are secured. And then all smoke and carbon monoxide detectors have free batteries. And at the end, the numbers for emergency services and personal and prominently and clearly displayed. Now, let's get to school safety. So basically, to avoid accidents at school, we have to generate a clear set of safety rules. And we have to also keep our sharp eyes on the school's facilities. So the first thing we have to do is to create a safety committee of teachers and students and also administrators. There shouldn't be any short circuiting and also the school staffs, they have to be aware of not taking care of the school's connections. The students, they have to be aware of running in the halls and also they should wash their hands before they eat because if they don't do that, it will be really harmful for them and that, that can cause different diseases in future. Now that we are having this kind of situation right now, the students, they have to wear masks and they have to also maintain a safe distance. Online safety is going to be our last discussion. So what exactly online safety means? It is that to take preventive measures to protect ourselves from the risk of cyber attacks. Everyone uses the internet to do daily tasks, transactions, data transfer, and etc. But there is a huge risk of cyber attacks. The attacker actually tries first to steal information in order to get to financial or other benefits. So this is why it's important to follow safety measures to stay safe while using the internet. Now, there are different ways to be safe over in online. So the first is to create a complex passwords. Then after that, we have to boost our network security. And lastly, we should not talk to the people who we don't really trust. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope today's discussion had a great effect on your minds. But surely we should never neglect the safety rules because they are also a part of our life activities. Stay safe.